from zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to another video. It is your girl Moya with Baddies in the Bag. So how y'all doing? I know I'm doing great. This is something that I've been waiting to happen to me for a while. So just imagine the feeling that I have. I have so much emotions literally just rattling around in my head, in my heart, in my heart, in my body, every single word. Like I literally can't explain it enough to you guys. My credit finally went up after all these years. I've been struggling with my credit probably like for three, four years now. My daughter's here, she's walking around the room and she's on her iPad and everything. So if you guys hear noises in the background, that's where it's coming from. But let me tell y'all how my credit finally went up by 68 points. It feels good. I mean, it has been going up in the past couple, probably like in the past couple years after, you know, all the suing and all of that that took place. But it, this is the first time it's actually went up so drastically. Like it's been, you know, gaining 10 points here, five points there, yada, yada, yada. But it has not went up like by 68 points. This is definitely new and it's, got me in a whole different mood like i feel so good i feel like i am on a better path financially you know how credit is like you can't really do anything with bad credit it's like it's certain limits to what you can do if your credit is bad you know so the girl had been feeling so trapped sometimes like i remember when i was supposed to get my apartment like me and my boyfriend was supposed to get an apartment when i was pregnant and everything and it's not that we couldn't find somewhere but the problem was majority of the places that we were finding were requiring a certain credit score from both of us it, it felt so bad like extremely bad to finally feel like to finally pass the score of what is typically required for certain things, it feels great. You guys know I don't hide anything from y'all. I went literally to rock bottom with my credit. I was at actually like 500, I think. I've never went into the 400, but I was at 500 at one point that was a whole lot going on in my life to be honest um that took me to that part it wasn't like i wasn't intentionally trying to hit rock bottom on my credit i mean no i don't think no one's ever intentionally doing it but you know things happened in our life you know how life is and rainy days and we wasn't managing our money and we wasn't doing this and stuff come up emergencies and we just kind of throw everything on the card and stuff like that and i am just literally taking myself out of holes that i've digged and like jumped in it feels a hundred percent great to know that it's finally past a certain amount so i remember when it was at 500 like i was saying and then it went to like 5:30. They went to like 5:29. They keep going up. They keep going down. They keep going. Right now, it's at 6:51 because probably since the year started, it was at like 5:83. Like it went up a bunch because it's coming from 500. But I've made. I did three different things in the past two months that actually pushed it up by 68 points. And I'm gonna tell you guys what those three things are. I just wanna leave y'all with a little tip though before I even get into that. That's my daughter. <laughs> That's my daughter just walking around messing with my stuff. Say hello. Say hi everybody. Okay, I think she pooped y'all. I'm gonna have to change y'all, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back y'all so you know i had to step away and do my motherly duties but anyways so an, one thing that i want to say is if your credit is bad and you're trying to build your credit you have to make sure that you have something that's affecting it positively as well so i get that you have a lot of negative things collections a lot of missed payments late payments whatever you have going on in your credit you want to make sure that you have something that's going good is what I'm saying. So you don't want everything to be going bad. You want something to at least be going good as well. The problem or where I think I went wrong or where I know I went wrong was because I have all these neg negative stuff impacting my credit, I wasn't interested in getting like a new credit card or something to try to positively impact it. I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but I'm gonna say it again in a different way. Once everything started to go 
down ill with my credit what I was doing was nothing <laughs> I was doing I was doing absolutely nothing to positively impact my credit Leia can you can you can you be a little bit low can you use your inside voice I was doing absolutely nothing to positively impact my credit I was just getting hit with all these negative things you know so it just kept dropping and dropping and dropping and going down and going down and going down two months ago I've d I've done three things these are the three things that I've done differently to positively impact my credit and I've gotten a good result so far thing number one I took out another credit card but this one you know when your credit's low you can't really get like a a regular credit card like you kind of have to get like a secured credit card so I get I went on credit karma and I realized that they were showing me this credit card by capital one which they haven't shown me a capital one credit card in a while I decided to check it out see what it was it I think it's capital one platinum credit card it was telling me that I had a good chance of being approved but it is a secured card with a deposit of I think it's like a hundred dollars deposit so I was like you know what I feel like I'm not, I'm doing nothing to positively impact my credit so let me try to get another credit card and probably try to use it and make payments on time and stuff like that to see if it can make a change in my credit I applied for the capital one credit card it was a secured card so I had to put down a deposit of a hundred dollars I think with a credit line of $250 so even though it's a secured card and I only deposited a certain amount of money they actually gave me more I felt grateful for that I was really excited about that because I was like thank you God so now I can try to make payments and everything on time and try to see if it can make a change in my credit I got the credit card I used it probably like twice on really small stuff and I made my payment I think it takes I think like 60 days or something before they actually report it to the credit bureaus I'm not sure how long it takes but I know for the first month of me using it and making my payments nothing happened I know that for a fact next thing I did was I was on TikTok one day and I saw this girl talking about something called credits AI I'll put the links below in the description if you guys want to check them out but credit AI is like it's kind of like cash app but the only difference about it is it kind of works like self where it reports to the credit bureaus as if you have like a credit limit like you have a card with them or something a credit card but it's not a credit card the card itself is not a credit card it's a debit card you can only spend basically whatever amount you put on there when you sign up for credit ai it's going to ask you to deposit a hundred dollars you don't have to deposit a hundred dollars i deposited a dollar because i didn't know about it i'm getting this from tiktok and i wanted to see if it actually worked you know so i wasn't gonna just throw my hundred dollars in there i deposited a dollar it's gonna tell you that you have to deposit a hundred but you don't you can deposit a dollar it's fine it will still go through so I applied for it, I deposited my dollar, and it, I got approved, it went through, and they sent me a card in the mail and everything. Mm, and baby, after I got the card in the mail and everything, and I realized that it's actually a thing, I deposited an extra like $20 on there. And then what it is, is you can spend that $20 or you can spend whatever amount you're spending out of it whatever amount you spend is gonna be gone kind of like a debit card it's like I had $20 on my card I bought something for $5 I only have $15 left that's how it works but what it does is it reports to the credit bureau as if it's a credit card with a thousand dollar credit limit that's what it does I did that I deposited my $21 on there cuz I deposited a dollar first and I x20 so I had $21 on there I only use it when I'm on campus like if I need to use a vending machine for a bottle of water or something so it's kind of like cash out like a debit card but it's just reporting as if it's a credit card to help you to build credit so that's the whole point of it so I signed up for that that's the second thing I did and then self lender I mean everyone's favorite friend <laughs> so I'm back with self lender I had them back then I used to have self lender back in the days but that time they it, I think it was $25 a month at that time and I screwed that up <sighs> but you know I had money on there so I didn't have to pay anything back so now I got self lender again now it's $35 every month 
you basically pay $35 every month to self lender and they kind of put up the money as if it's like a saving that you got going on like you're saving the money with them and they report to the credit bureau as if you have a personal loan that you're paying off with them and then at the end of the year they send you back like a percentage of whatever you saved i don't think it's a fully what you saved i think they kind of take a little small percentage out of it but you i think you end up getting like 700 and something dollars at 800 and something dollars at the end of the year I, I don't remember fully but i think so getting a new credit card a secured one with a low balance that i know i'm not gonna mess up or you know harder to mess up signing up for credit ai and using self lender gave me a 68 points credit increase in two months literally so if you guys are struggling with your credit as well or you're looking for a way to boost your credit you can try these things you can try self you can try credit ai or if you have a credit card just try to pay your credit card down or you know try to do better with the credit card but if you were in like a really bad situation like me try these three things you'll see a difference like you'll definitely get results i'm excited to see where else it's about to go because it's only been two months since I've been doing these three things and I jumped 68 points. Imagine what it's gonna do throughout the rest of the year or you know, over a period of time. I'm gonna keep using it and I'll definitely give you guys updates and stuff to see if anything changed or you know, like if it keeps going up or it keeps doing better or what exactly keeps happening. But y'all know how I love to come on here and give y'all the tea, give y'all the scoop, you know, help y'all out a little bit because we're all human, you know, we're not perfect. We get ourselves in all type of situations all the time. Get all these things. I'll put the links in the description so you guys can check them out. As far as the credit card, I don't know. Probably try to go on Credit Karma because you know how Credit Karma kind of like tells you you can sign up for this card. You have an excellent chance or a good chance or whatever. Try to find one that doesn't have like an annual fee or whatever and or try to get a secure card with your bank or something as far as the credit card goes. But as far as credit AI and self lender, I'll put those in the description. But y'all, I feel great. I'm happy about that increase. I'm no longer in, this, in the 500s. Bye. <laughs> I am superior happy, okay? I'm checking my credit to see if it went up anymore. Nah, it didn't, it didn't go up anymore, but oh my God. Oh my god. 651. Uh, uh. Wow. <laughs> Woo. I wish it does it show you like where it's coming from. To show you that I'm not lying. Right here, I think it says 580 585 August 20 2023. Then y'all see this big jump. You see that big jump right there? From zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> So this is what my credit looked like this whole time. And then since I started doing those three new things, zoop, it just improved drastically. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I love all y'all so much. Y'all are, I wish nothing but blessing and love on your life and positivity and keep your head up and keep going. Mwah. Love y'all. I used to work the day away. I figured I could maybe pave away. No, it's niggas that count the